So you've just stumbled off a 13-hour international flight. Probably the last thing you want to do is wait in line at customs for another hour. But you don't have to. There's a free app called Mobile Passport that you might not have heard about yet, but it makes coming home to America a breeze. No, it's not going to replace your actual passport, but it can reduce the time it takes to get through customs from an eternity to just minutes. When's the last time government technology made your life easier? There are four pretty simple steps to get up and running with the Mobile Passport. First, download the free app for Apple and Android phones. Then let the app quickly scan your passport details and take a selfie. If you're traveling with your family, you can put the whole gang in one Mobile Passport app. All your info is locked behind a passcode you set. Next, while you're on that never-ending flight home, or right when you arrive, you'll have a little bit of homework to do. Pull out your phone, yes, even in airplane mode, and answer a few questions about your trip in the app. No livestock for me this time. This is a replacement for those blue cards you typically need to fill out, or these newer kiosks, but it's quicker. When you land in the US, turn on your phone's cellular or Wi-Fi function. Then press a button in the app to submit all that information you just entered. The app sends your info to customs and gives you back a receipt with this code. This is your ticket to the express lane. Finally, when you get to immigration, look for the dedicated mobile passport line. It should be much, much shorter. If you don't see it, just ask. Sometimes it can be a little hidden. If someone directs you to the regular line, insists you belong in the mobile one. When your turn comes up, hand over your passport and wave the app over a scanner. The customs officer may ask you a few questions. No fruit, I promise. And you're on your way to the luggage carousel. You'll scan the app one more time after you grab your bags. Mobile Passport works for most Americans and Canadians coming to the US. It only works at airports, but it's now accepted at 13 of them, and 20 by the end of the year covering the vast majority of flights coming into the US. There are other ways to get through the airport faster, but it'll cost you. It's $100 to apply for the fingerprinting service called Global Entry. But did I mention Mobile Passport is totally free? And it doesn't require any pre-planning on your part, except to remember to download it. So even if you're not about to jet off to some faraway locale, go to the App Store and do it now.